Thank you, thank you. And welcome back to a, uh, other words, no less than surprising second season of RME Tonight. I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday break with their families. Now back into the swing of current events. As we all know, a recent trend has been sweeping the nation. Tide Pods have also recently passed Oreos as the number one evening snack for the young population in the United States. <laughs> Kids and adults have been sent to hospitals and even have died from eating these laundry pods that you're using to clean clothes with. So for those who are unaware of its proper use, here's a step-by-step -step guide to the Tide Pod. Step one, open package of Tide Pods. Step two, load your, load your washer with your dirty clothes. Step three, insert Tide Pod into washer. Do not insert into your mouth. Could kill you. And step four, start your laundry. And that is how you actually use a Tide Pod. I mean, it, it literally yes. says on the package that if ingested, that they could cause harm or even death. It says it right, right on the package in plain text. The Pittsburgh Pirates recently have made trade moves with both starting pitcher Garrett Cole, whose jersey I just got for Christmas, but it's whatever, and franchise face Andrew McCutcheon. Cole went to defending World Series champions, the Houston Astros, and Kutch went to the San Francisco Giants. After the Bergs heartbroken again by general manager Neil Huntington, the misery continued when middle infielder Josh Harrison stated that if the team wasn't going to contend, he wanted out of Pittsburgh, and firmly sticking both middle fingers up to his fan base in the Berg. Also, the Steelers' offense coordinator Todd Haley parted ways with the organization as of yesterday. He will be hoping to bring the Cleveland Browns that long-awaited win that has evaded the team since Christmas Eve 2016 and possibly a playoff berth. But we're going to start with that win. We're going to start with the win. Over the past weekend, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> over the past weekend, I started my adult hockey league career with my first game. On, first, on my first shift, I fell. And then on that same shift, a friend of mine got into a fight with the ice and started to bleed and respectively received the name Young Blood. Also the, first <laughs> also, the first check of my career came when I was pressuring on defense and fell to the ground. And my first shot missed both a foot high and a half a foot wide of the goal. Hopefully this rocky start will smooth out and lead to a couple of wins in the near future. We have an exciting first show strung together for you tonight. As always, Rogue, Rogue Musicians United is here with us. And, <laughs> and then we were, they are going to play the music that we so desperately love and both need. Later on tonight, they will be joined by a surprise guest performer. But before we get ready to take a break, a real quick thanks to the live audience that sits through all of my terrible jokes throughout the night. Yeah, we do. And when we come back, we will take a trip with Charles Stockhausen and the Brotherhood of the Traveling Blender and see what people on RMU think about all the important questions that no one asks. All of this and more after the commercial break. Come on back now, you hear? For a tripod. I was your above average four legged homie and then wham bam minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Here at Robert Morris University, we pride ourselves at the experience that our students gain while they're actively learning in the classroom. Some even come back to share that knowledge with new students. I never dreamed that I'd be back here. I'm having so much fun. I'm doing a lot of what I was trained to do and what I went to school for. The Colonial Sports Network is a great opportunity for students to learn real job skills in sports programming to be able to see what the students want to make of it because it can be anything that they want. 
I love being here, seeing students, seeing myself in the students that work with me, and I'm really blessed to have so much talent to work with. It's really amazing. To be able to see students become successful after Rockamore is really cool. Join the Colonial Sports Network team and expand your future today. Hey, let's check out this park. great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. To arm you tonight. <laughs> now let's hit the roads of Robert Morris with Charles Stockhausen and the Brotherhood of the Traveling Blunder, asking all the important questions that no one is asking to the people of Robert Morris University. We need a bit, so uh, we're getting a bit. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, it's my name's Charles Stockhausen. I'm a correspondent for Greg Sutton on RMU Tonight. We're going around uh, campus asking the hard-hitting questions and uh, blending <laughs> just a little bit too uh, in this spiffy blender here. 20 bucks at Walmart. Go check it out. Walmart sponsor us. Uh, and so we're, uh, we're just trying to get interviews and we strike out a lot, but at the same time, we also get a lot of, a lot of good uh, entertainment for you. Are you guys interested in being in an interview for some really stupid questions and then telling me what the blending is here, baby? Here. <laughs> No? I already get back over there. Okay, that's fair. You? Time is fair. All right. All right. Well, yeah, it's, not last it's really hard to get the blend out this day. Is. Just as we thought all these were lost, we ambushed that's fine, buddy. Jury, Thank you. Which then snowballed that's going to be the most intensive part. Answer yeah. our, well, so you only heard stupid me. questions. Yeah, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> so long to find people. All right. How do you feel about the army spoiled population nowadays? So if you don't pay your exorcists, do you get repossessed? Is it true the cannibals don't eat clowns because they taste funny? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you guys are killing me with these questions. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. I have no idea. Molly doesn't even have an answer for that. No. 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 Do you know I the have answer? No idea. <laughs> I don't, actually. Okay. Yeah, no, I know. It's why I'm asking you guys. I'm stupid, all right? Being caught off guard. Many people didn't have any answers. Um, so but eventually the they opened up. I think it's pretty good. Yeah? yeah. I think it's healthy. Healthy. Yeah. Staying out there. <laughs> Love it. We could use as many, like, if I could hold five in my arms, it would be perfect. Super person. Yeah. Right. I agree. Like Chipmunks, too. Bear, They're great. What and about rabbits? Yeah, I'm I all down. Rabbits. If, I, if I could have a litter of my own. Yeah, I think that's how that works, yeah. economically speaking. I think I learned about that in my economics yeah. class. Oh, really? Yeah. Do they have yeah. Any, like, spiritual thing on that? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Okay. Do you have experience? No. Okay. Um, an identity crisis? <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's, any produce that's over $9 better taste fantastic. Um, well, the apples kind of suck. They're usually brown. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bananas are, too. Uh, you have two legs. Yeah, two it's legs. A pair of legs. A pair of legs they and a pair of pants. I have hands. Still mad, actually. <laughs> I just opened my own eyes with that. I actually smart. never thought of that before. While some got woke, others had questions that kept them up at night. Uh, that I've pondered that one myself before. Um, they are both dogs, and why? And then why? Why? Right? Why is Pluto just like a dog and doesn't talk? And Goofy, you know, maybe. Maybe Goofy is like some sort of like mutant hybrid, you know, like kind of like a Wolverine or something like that. Wolverine of Disney? Wolverine of Disney. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's actually a really good question. Um, Man, I don't know. I mean, technically. Technically, yeah. Technically. Yeah. But it's a book about failure and it's not successful. Do you write a book about success and it's a failure? Is that a, that's a failure, right? It's a failure, yeah. Okay, so then the reverse, it'd be the same. So it works, yeah. So, yeah all right, there we go. All right. Well, Why don't you write, you should write a book about failure, I think. Yeah, I, should, yeah, I, mean, I, I know all about it. That's why I'm just, this is why I'm only a foreign correspondent on RMU tonight. I got no, no job in front of me. Of course. Yeah. With my heart heavy, I ask one final question. Final one. 
why is 11 not from sounds 181? <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, there's 22, 33, so why isn't 11 181? It should be 181. We should start saying that. All right. Willing to sign a petition for that? Yeah. One eighty one. Greg, <laughs> <laughs>
Charles, what is your actual like lineage? Uh, okay, so you said confusing. Not really too confusing. <laughs> All right, see, I'm 50% German. Pretty easy. Graham came over on the boat, so I'm like first generation, I guess. And I got 50% Irish. So I'm pretty simple. <laughs> so Charles, speaking of the Irish, I also yeah. understand that you have a kilt. Yes, so you might be wondering, oh, he's Irish. That's not Scottish, and kilts are Scottish. But you see, it's German, and it's a tartan. Oh, that's on my wire. But boom, if you can just you know, take this nice look. Uh, <laughs> I got my solid sporn as well. You know, this is a, actually supposed to be a shield for everybody out there. Fun fact. A shield? So like, yes. they put their shields there? Yeah. I mean, look, you're wearing a kilt, man, and you're going into uh, battle. No, I understand that. I mean, it makes sense. You don't yeah. want to lose something. Absolutely <laughs> makes sense. Uh, <laughs> definitely don't want to lose that. Yeah, plus, it makes uh, a convenient <laughs> pouch. Yeah, it makes a great pouch. Is that where you put your phone? Uh, yeah, I have, uh, let's see, I got my keys and uh, <laughs> some, some, uh, some plastic. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what happened to my freedom card. <laughs> oh, no. That's All a, right, we'll find that we'll out later. We'll find that out later. That's, a, that's another addition. Yeah. But uh, so with this all in mind, where did you, where did you find this kilt in Sporig? Is you, I think it was Sporin, yeah. Sporin. Uh, so I went to the Renfest uh, in Pittsburgh. It was a wonderful time. Renfest is always great. You can meet magical people, and uh, there's a lot of fairies to talk to you. It's, it's uh, not really good for mental health, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so I went there, uh, and then there's this place called the Kilt Shop. Classic, you know, easy to understand. Very, very original. And, you know, I just, I was never a fan of pants. You know? No, I don't think anybody is. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, you know, best next thing to pants, like business pants, is like, you know, kilt. A dressy kilt. Or a dressy kilt. Yeah. yeah. So I got a business kilt. Business kilt. Right? I like it. Yeah. See, immediate response, though, after I was done is, can we have a picnic on your legs? So <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't very happy with this, but, you know, whatever. So after that, got the kilt, got the sporn, and uh, actually for Christmas, that's all my parents got me was like some nice uh, green socks. So like, wha bam, <laughs> oh, and then like, right, oh, right. Oh, and they're, I know they're wool too, which is pretty oh, awesome. Uh, and then the shirt, which is uh, actually I can like run marathons in this. Is it comfy? It is so comfortable. Oh, it's like 50% polyester and then cotton. Oh, it's great. All right, Charles. Now, now that we're done with your attire, yes. Let's jump into the uh, blender. Like real quickly, explain to us what we're gonna be doing here. Uh, okay, so what we did is that we went on to campus. We asked stupid questions that nobody needs to know the answers to, even though I'm glad everybody gave us answers. So we asked them afterwards what we should blend in a blender and then drink it on the show. All right. Woo! Woo! So, so first off, let's get out Billy the blender. All right. Billy, this, this is Billy. Is, this is my boy right, Billy. Real quickly, run us through the ingredients people picked, and I'll pick them uh, out of here. All right. So the first ingredient, you know, we have to have a full course meal, so we got to lock and load. You know, mm. classic. That's uh, we need we need some sustenance. You got your like what bacon, your turkey, and everything. Yeah, your lettuce. Got to stay a little bit healthy on a croissant. Oh my. Boom. All right. What's next? All right. Now with that, you have a good side dish. Potatoes, right? Oh Who doesn't love potatoes? I'm Here you Irish. go. You can throw those in there. All right. Got some potatoes. You know, like I said, after after the famine and uh, you know back home, you gotta you gotta have as many potatoes as you can. Boom. Okay. What's all right? Keep going. What's, what's potatoes the next without list? it? Orange juice. Orange. Course. Wait, potatoes and I've never heard of Look, that. Look, man, one. you gotta have a good drink to go oh. along with it, all right? And plus, Ooh. you need to thicken up these potatoes. So okay, like, that's oh, fair. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Oh, my. Yeah, that's beautiful. What's next? I see it down here, but they need to yeah, go. Right, so, next, uh, we got Hostess. All right, we're not Hostess. Little, yeah, they're Hostess cupcakes. Yeah. Oh, little, no, they're little Debbie. Yes. Yes. Little Debbie. Oh, God, geez, so many. New at Romo, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so many losses coming our way. And finally, the top off. Who doesn't like chocolate on chocolate? Hershey syrup. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Yes. Of course not. Right. Boom. You got, should we do two cakes or one? Might as well throw them both in there. You want a couple pretzels oh, while we're here, too? I mean, why not? You know, you have that you have crunch in there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pretzels. pretzels. A little bit of texture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can do the honors of the syrup oh, as much as you want. What is. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. oh. Such I good. think that's probably good. And then we'll, we'll add some to on top there here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. And we'll just uh, dish all this into our handy dandy garbage can. <laughs> yeah, that we know we're going to need. <laughs> or Ooh. hopefully not. <laughs> all right, if you can do the uh, honors, you can pick oh pulse, my. high speed, low speed, whatever you want, man. What are you feeling? <laughs> Let's go with uh, on top. an icebreaker oh, or aerate. All right, icebreaker, go. Boom. Blend. Right, cool. That sound. Blend. 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 I see a little lettuce. Yeah. Look, we're just trying to save time. It's know? not a great, I don't think this is a great idea. But look, uh, that way you don't have to eat a full meal. I think it's good. We're blended. All right. Wow. Uh, do you see like that 
that bubble that popped up? I don't. I didn't see it. I'm kind of glad I didn't. Oh uh, God. All right. So we got like what is this? 50 or 750 milligrams or whatever. Um, There's a lot of protein. Oh yeah. In this blender right now. There's so much protein. You got Charles, salt and meats. Uh, since you're the guest, I would like to offer this to you first. You know I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You so. Initial reaction, smells like chocolate. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh -huh. So. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's it's really it's a texture thing. You want some more chocolate in there, man? No. I think you want some more chocolate in there. Come on. Want more. Oh my god. Do it. Do it. it looks like somebody already redisposed of it. Whatever. Oh my, I've never, my heart's never raced Come on, you fast. got this. this I believe bad. in you. We got a trash can. Woo! How'd it taste, right? Oh, God. <laughs> um, I can't. It's definitely better than the jelly bean thing, but uh, it's definitely not the best thing I've tasted. Real quick, does anybody from the audience want to come take a swiggy swig? Logan, Logan, Logan come on up. Logan, Logan, Logan. All right, so we have a real quick 30 second time limit here. So if you want to yeah. go ahead and take a swig of our amazing four course meal here. Wait, 30 seconds? No, 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 no you, you can take, just a, take, a, take, a, swig. take, take a, a swig. Take a drink. Drink it! Just take a drink. We already took a drink. Yeah! It's not a great taste. <laughs> it's not terrible, it's though. It's not right? great, though. It's like hummus. I, uh, I, yeah, should I take the. No, not oh! again! Oh my gosh. Okay, oh give me this. Oh and when we come back. Well, our special guest will perform for us with Rogue Musicians United. Take it away. <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. Oh, that was. That was really bad. I don't know. That was really bad. They call me Maxi, but I prefer tripod. I was your above-average four-legged homie, and then wham, bam, minivan. Some people pity me. Now that's lame. I still run, fetch, and swim. And the ladies love me. I'm the ultimate wingman. Just don't ask me to high five. Here at Robert Morris University, we pride ourselves at the experience that our students gain while they're actively learning in the classroom. Some even come back to share that knowledge with new students. I never dreamed that I'd be back here. I'm having so much fun. I'm doing a lot of what I was trained to do and what I went to school for. The Colonial Sports Network is a great opportunity for students to learn real job skills in sports programming. And to be able to see what the students want to make of it because it can be anything that they want. I love being here, seeing students, seeing myself in the students that work with me and I'm really blessed to have so much talent to work with. It's really amazing to be able to see students become successful after Rapid Morris. It's really cool. Join the Colonial Sports Network team and expand your future today. Hey, let's check out this park. great local park or forest near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Oh, welcome back to RMU tonight. <laughs> Woo! And uh, our special guest tonight, Jared Seitz, will be singing Plush by Stone Temple Pilots.
Pleasure having you back, yep. Jared. I appreciate you coming. It's awesome to have a guest on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, well, another guest on the show, I should say. And I was kind of confused for a second. So I thought this was gonna be like a, like a smaller, like kind of like laid back piece. And then he kind of started going at it there towards yeah. like the end there. Yeah. Kind of confused me. Like when I seen an acoustic guitar and uh, a stool, I'm kind of like, oh, it's gonna be like a nice laid back piece. And then kind of got into it there for a second. I kind of liked it. It was really good on both of you. So this is your second time on the show with us here. Yep. And uh, what? Like, how did you guys come through the process of coming up with Plush for the, uh, the song for tonight? Well, Roman already knew how to play it, and I sort of knew it. And so, well, we wanted to do something else. We actually originally had Natalie coming on, but she couldn't make it because of classes, so we kind of threw this together. So kind of like a cover-up kind of It was a song deal. he knew, and there was a song I kind of knew, so uh, we were like, like, okay. Okay, I got you. You guys kind of put it together and kind of yeah. had like, somebody drop out at the last second due to a class scheduling issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... You guys have been here with us, and uh, you guys started this club last semester, right? This is a right. fairly new club here. So, how's it going? Have you guys gotten like a spike in like interest or the same people? Or? A lot of the same people. It's we're actually consistent. Yeah, though. we're actually trying to do um, gigs outside on you this year, like bar gigs and stuff like that. Oh, okay. That. Yeah. Have you guys like who are you guys talking to to go do this? Um, South South Park Bar, South Park Bar, right? South Park Bar. Yeah. yeah. And then Mr. Small's Fun House was yeah. one of them. We were thinking about the Hard Rock Cafe, but that's a little bit more All right. pro. Well, we appreciate you guys coming in. I hope those gigs really work out for you. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight and uh, sticking with us through the blunder and the jokes and everything else. Woo! So have you guys a great two weeks. I'll see you again in two weeks. Make sure to tune in to all those shows we mentioned earlier and have a great night. Yeah! yeah.